All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David. Those men that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth. And much love to the one third of you believers out there. To you all, we say Shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Uh, I'm the brother Yeshaya. I'm brother Ash. All right, and we're back here through the spirit. Um, just to do a lesson, a little impromptu, you know. Uh, you know, we're we're out in Atlanta right now, and so uh, you know the spirit has been heavy since we've been here, and uh, we just been absorbing and learning and growing and um, finding different things that are beneficial for uh, our camps, um, ourselves, you know, and ultimately for Yahweh Bashem Yahshai and his ministry. All right, and uh, you know, countless things we talk about about growth and uh, doing things so the ministry not be blamed. You know, always uh, walking walking with wisdom. You know, and actually, uh, what did you have something on deck? Yeah, dude. okay, go ahead, brother. All right, um, because this is spirit is gonna go into what the brother just said. Um, this is Romans 13 and 11. I'll read uh, down to 14. This is in that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, mm -hmm. for now is our salvation near than we believe. So, you know, not only is this, uh, you know, towards the ones that need to come into the truth and, and, and uh, be awakened up to the the, their nationality of knowing the times that we're living in, but also in, in the ministry, okay? You have to walk accordingly, okay? This is not, um, you know, we're, you know, just all right, well, I'm gonna do my own thing because I think it should be run like this. Nah, man, you gotta realize that the, our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. We had we had the end of this thing, man. Mm -hmm. You see all these prophecies take, uh, taking place, okay? So what manner of spirit ought you to be in? Mm -hmm. Knowing that, that the, these times, what the outcome of it is, it's going to be what? Everything you see around you is going to be destroyed. That's right. All right. It says, uh, the, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Right. Then you have to walk in the spirit. All right. You got to put the old man away because what the Lord is only coming back for those that have have changed their ways, have came back unto him. OK, That's put right. on that armor of light that's uh, uh, picked up that south, that's, uh, the shield. The helmet, you know. Yep. Um, um, well, a couple more verses here. It says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord your house, Shai Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So this ain't about pleasing yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. This is about discipline. Because what, what, what did the Lord have? He had disciples. You have to be disciplined in this walk, okay? You have to walk in the spirit, all right? Not just, uh, what, the Lord, uh, James, the brother of the Lord said, hey, uh, uh, show me your faith by your works. Mm -hmm. This is not just about saying you have faith and saying you believe. This is about showing, all right, how about showing you shy that you believe? Because you don't, you look, you can you can say you believe all day to the brothers, <laughs> and, and brothers are going to believe you because, you, hey, we're going to take you for your word. Mm -hmm. But the most high knows, all right? The most high knows if what you're doing when nobody's around, okay? What you what you chasing after, all right? What you your heart is after when nobody's around, and that's what's it's gonna that's what's gonna it, it ain't what the next man's doing gonna get you salvation. That's what you're doing, that's right. all right? Go ahead though. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. right, brother. Because the the scriptures say that um, basically uh, no man can save you by his works. You know, a man has to be saved of his own. You know, basically you can't. Uh, like I can't save Ash and Ash can't save me. You know, we you gotta be uh doing the works of the eyes of the, in the eyes of the Heavenly Father because he said his eyes are as ten thousand times as bright as the sun. So he's seeing those works that you're doing in darkness. You know, what do you that's what integrity goes back to, you know, ultimately doing things um that are upright without having someone to have eyes on you, you know. Uh that's that's being a, having a, a faithful and um uh, a spirit full of integrity, you know, and um I did want to get uh, Galatians. Uh, this is Galatians 5 and 19. It says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. You see, so uh, the way that you're walking, the way that you're carrying yourself, 
You got to put on the, uh, the fruits of the spirit. You got to put on the things that are upright in the eyes of the heavenly father, right? Because all of those things, it says those are the works of the flesh, okay? So many men are uh, getting taken over by things that your flesh desires, man. This walk, ever since you learned you were an Israelite, right? And I'm not talking about the guys that just learned they're an Israelite and they go put on some fringes. But those that are sincere, when you learn that you're an Israelite, one of the first lessons that you're taught is correction and change, right? Putting off the old man, realizing that you can't be the person that you were coming before the throne of the Most High. You had to put off those works of the flesh. Now, granted, they may not happen overnight. You know, it, it might be a process for some of those. But once you've done that cleansing process, you don't go back to the vomit. You don't go back to the folly. You don't go back to the ways of the flesh. You get you tap more and more into the spirit. And that's how you defeat the flesh. You know, so um, I'm just going to read down to verse 25. It says uh, this is verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law. And they that are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit, right? So it says they have crucified, you got to crucify the flesh, man. All right. You got to be able to kill off that flesh because there's a battle going on within your mind. There's a battle going on between your spirit and your flesh. So you need to tap into the fruits of the spirit. You need to tap into what it is to be a brother, be charitable, be mindful of your actions. All right. Uh, giving, uh, uh, reverence to the men that are above you. You know, all of those things are important to putting on your house shot. And recognizing order. Okay. Yeah. This ain't, again, this, this ain't just a free for all, man. There's a, there's a structure like the apostle explained it yesterday mm -hmm. that, you know, he was That's showing us how the box was the order and it was holding all, it was a bunch, it's a bunch of, like it was a, it was a beverages. Okay. <clears throat> and it, it was, it was 12 beverages but it was you could all you could move them all together at one time. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the the structure, the order that that was surrounding them, mm -hmm. and and so it made those individual items work together as one. That's right. You know, so that's that's how the body is, man. We're supposed to move yeah. together. All right, we're supposed to be all in one order, or right, one mind. Because what if somebody trying to go this way, all right, but you trying to go that way? Yeah, this isn't tug of war, man. We got to move together. Mm -hmm. We got like the course of the river. The, the river don't go put. This way one day and then that way the next day or this way it, it, it clashing together. Nah, man, the river's flowing one direction and that's how we got to be flowing. That's right. All right. Uh, yeah, more on that. No, you got to. This is uh, Romans eight, and uh, I started one to say is therefore, so like there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahushai Mashiach who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit, for the law of the spirit of, for the law of the spirit of life. In Yahushua Mashiach hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, the most high sent in his son, his own son, in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Right? That's why he was crucified, right? So, like the brother was saying, you have to crucify that old man. You the flesh, you gotta crucify the flesh, man. Because what? You gotta kill off the old man. That's right. All right. That the old man died when you uh, you know, it's supposed to be dead with your house shot crucifixion you know cruci getting crucified yeah. all right going on it says um for that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit <clears throat> and that's what you're supposed to be walking after man the spirit you have to be spiritually minded man all right let me jump down to verse six well, i'll read the first five it says for <clears throat> it's like for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh so if you all about the flesh what you gonna do? You gonna be trying to please the flesh. You gonna go after the lust of the flesh. You gonna go after worldly things because you're not you're not occupied. You see, you should be occupied in prophecy, not what you know the what bullshit is going on in this world that don't prosper, that ain't gonna prosper. All right, that doesn't benefit you according to this ministry. Now we gotta work, of course. We gotta do you know these menial meaningless sh shit mm -hmm. at the end of the day because we we still live in this society. Right. You know, we're not telling you to drop quit, drop everything, and just. You know, read the Bible all day. That's mm -hmm. not what we're saying. We're saying yeah, you have to live after the spirit, not the flesh. It says, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right. Because the carnal mind is is enmity against the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So the flesh, look, the flesh ain't, it don't want to do the thing. The Lord said, 
said, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's right. Your flesh is always going to want to do something else mm -hmm. because it does. It is. It's pleasing unto the flesh. You know, these worldly things is for the flesh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, you, the spirit. When you're in the spirit world, you, you don't do all these things: eat, you know, drink, sleep. You know, mm -hmm. to have sex. That's for the flesh. Pleasure, uh, pleasure for the flesh. But what? When you come into the truth, that that's that don't even come second. That don't even come third. Not even fourth. You know, the spirit, the things of the spirit come first, man. All right. How about you? How shy comes first? The brotherhood. All right. Then you. And then maybe a woman. Right, <laughs> you know, right. She comes forth. Real, real. You know. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah, man. You know, because that's the thing, man. Your, your, your flesh wants to do that. Like the brother said, your flesh sees something. And it just want to hop on. It want to do that, you know. But that's why the Lord has given us that, that spiritual download to be like, hey, yo, that's not wise. Don't do that. All right. That's going to. And that what what what's the main thing that makes us work towards that is that fear, man, that terror of the Lord. All right, because your flesh want to do something, but you like, man, hey, the Lord might put me to death if I go do that shit, man. You know that's that's how the fear of the Lord is supposed to to train you. All right, and so now that we're a part of this one body, you gotta, you know, of course we try to be uh, accountable for another brother and try to correct another brother, but we are one body and we have to walk as such, man. You can't be. That's another thing, you know, uh, just being mindful. Of uh of you, you know, even like uh this brother I was telling him this morning, this brother and the brother Gabar in my camp, you know, the spirit hopped on and just want to cut their hair yesterday. And I was like, that that's the spirit, you know. But why? It's because it, of course wanting to serve the Lord, but also if it gets a little long, they're like, Hey, I want I don't want to be I don't want the ministry to be blamed, I don't want the, the camp to be looked at wrong, you know. And so you have a responsibility for not just yourself. This is bigger than just you, man. When you came into learning you're an Israelite. You had to uh, put on for other people. You had to put on for the Lord, right? So you had to change your ways and realize that this is nation building. This isn't, even though we're, we grow and we do uh, self-development within yourself, but we're doing that so we can be better for the Lord and for our nation as well. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 Spirit. and 12. You can go ahead and read it if you want, bro. <laughs> it says, for as the body is one and have many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is a Mashiach. So, hey, even though this body has many members, we're supposed to be one body, man. All right. And we're the true one body in Yahweh Shai, man. Lord willing, we're those men. Right. So you have to uh, be, be able to recognize like, hey, if you're a part of this body, you need to function in a certain way. OK. It says for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body that does, you know, that baptism again. Is uh, spiritual, you know. Of course, you can dip a brother in water if you want to pray over him in the name and, and baptize him in the water. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you got to be baptized by the word, man. All right. All right. People get baptized every day in church, and them niggas is wicked as hell. Yeah, yeah. man. I got family members <laughs> that have done that shit. You tell me they got baptized, they recorded it. Next thing you know, they were smoking weed the same right. goddamn day. A celebration blunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I was at a, a random sh dirty ass lake, you know. <laughs> or the, the 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 church the water fountain at the church, you know, <clears throat> niggas throwing coins in there, and this nigga getting dunked in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, homie John. Uh, John Martin. John <laughs> Martin. <laughs> 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 baptizing you. Right, right. Fuck no, man. John Martin can't even tell you the name of the Lord. You don't want nobody baptized. You can't even tell you the name, right. man. You know. It says, um, "For by one Spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles." Whether we be bond or free, and have been made all to drink in one spirit. And those Gentiles are foreign to Israelite foreigners, right? Or in individuals that are living in a Gentile state of mind, right? But those are all Israelites. It says, we have all been made to drink into one spirit, man. Because the Lord said, the Lord talks about uh, drinking of his blood and eating of his flesh, right? So you're, we're now becoming a part of the walk with Yahweh Shai, man. He laid his life down for us so that we can be a part of this spirit. You know, and you got to remember the things we're in the four times for our learning. What did the mm -hmm. disciples were not rolling with Yahweh side their whole lives, man? Right. They they were just ordinary men, and that's why the Lord specifically chose men like that because he he knew to, to if two thousand years later it'd be the same thing again. Just yo, mm -hmm. this is that nigga that used to smoke weed or the, your 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 co employee, your co worker, mm -hmm. you know, just random people. <laughs> but you know that Lord chose he chose. That's why the the Pharisees was like, man. You call him the Lord, but look who he sent. Well, he over there with publicans and sinners. sinners. <laughs> but hey, that's what it is, you mm -hmm. know. And that's what the Lord, the Lord always likes the underdog. Look at King David. 
Yeah. You know, that's the last person they were looking at. Samuel was like, wasn't even looking. He was they didn't even like, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but hey, but that's who the Lord chose. Yeah. You know, and, and the Lord's will we chosen. But look, we we was, you know, we come from all kind of backgrounds. Yeah. But what that stopped when you come into this ministry? Look, that all that that all that old shit is, is useless. That's right. Right. You got to be born again in this truth, man. Mm -hmm. We're new men in Yahweh Shai, right. man. You know, uh, you know, brothers, and that's that's the reason we're able to get along so well when we meet brothers. I mean, it's through the spirit, obviously, but we know that the change and the, the, the things we went through may not know every brother's individual story, but we know that you changed your life to be with Yahweh Shai. You you gave you sacrificed the life of the flesh so you can gain and obtain the life of the spirit, right? Um, I got this because the brothers said, you know, we were just they were just regular people. This is uh, Matthew 4 and 17. It says, from that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. You see, so though they were out there fishing. That, that was their occupation. That was their duty. But they, they, when you when you run into Yahweh Shai, your life is supposed to change if he's dealing with you. And it will change. But, hey, matter of fact, your life is going to change when you run into Yahweh Shai regardless of you're about him or not. Yep. You know, because all the people that come in, that encounter us and we're speaking in the name of the Lord, all right, if they don't repent and change their ways, they're going to meet Yahweh Shai in, in his judgment. They're going to meet him when he returns to this earth by fire. You see what I'm saying? So you your life is gonna change when you meet Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, period. You know, but in this instance, we're wanting to be like these men by dropping our net straight away and, and chasing after the Lord so that we become fishes of men so that other men may come into the fold and 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 be as Yahweh Shah and follow the Lord and follow these law statutes and commandments. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord first went to the <clears throat> to the spirit. That's why he went to them. Or right, those are the first disciples he 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 went to. Uh uh Peter. Andrew mm -hmm. and John and James, yep. they were there. They had the same occupation. They were all fishermen. Yep. And guess what? That's what so they already had a concept of all right. We got a fish. Yep. So you know we got a fish men now though. Yep. But did did that? <clears throat> did obviously they didn't stop fishing because right. they, later in the scriptures they're still fishing. Right, you know? right. <laughs> Even when the Lord came back, you know, yep. after he resurrected, what were they doing? They were fishing. Mm -hmm. But that that wasn't their main duty anymore. They understood yeah. that. All right, look, we got big. We got uh, fishing men is more important than fishing for fish. You know, mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna just continue. Yeah, like two or three more verses. It says, uh, and going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother in the ship with Zebedee their father, uh, mending their nets. He called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and mm -hmm. followed him. You see, and, and they said they left their father too because that's what the scriptures talk about. You, you, uh, if you don't hate your mother or your father, then you're not worthy of him, mm -hmm. meaning that if you don't love them less. Because, you know, because you imagine like that's how men do now. If you work on it, like, say, for instance, you know, a brother um, does a certain job with his father, right? And he, you, you, you the Lord, you, you, enter, a man of the Lord come and introduce himself to you and tell you about your Howard Shai. You know, you'd you be like, hey, Lord, I got to go listen to these men teach real quick. And your dad might be like, what the hell? We got a job to do, mm -hmm. you know? But, hey, Yahweh Shah said, am I not here to be about my father's business? We're here to do the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. That's what we come to do. Not uh, not doing the will of the world. You know, the will of the world. And of course, like the brother said, we got jobs. We got things we need to do. You know, we still slaves. We still in Babylon. But at the end of the day, your main let the main thing be the main thing. You know, you have to, it says, uh, uh, what's that? Matthew 6 and 33. Let me go it real quick, actually. Uh, Matthew 6, is it 5 and 33, 6 and 6 and 33? Matthew 6 and 33, it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You see, you seek, seek the Most High and his kingdom. That's supposed to be your first goal. That's supposed to be your first love. That's supposed to be your first priority. And then when you do that, all the things are going to be added unto you. And it's a, a key point. It says that and his righteousness, you see, you got to seek the Lord because some people are, well, I'm seeking him. I'm seeking him. But you're not wanting to understand the righteous things of the heavenly father, starting with his law, statutes, commandments, not the mercy of the Lord, you know, because in church, they're, they're seeking the kingdom of the most high in these churches. But are you seeking his righteousness? Are you seeking the things that he told you and commanded you to do in the scriptures? That's the importance of it. You know But you got it, bro? If you have yeah, something, man. Right? Get something real quick. Come, kind of. mm -hmm. you know. So when it when it comes down to it, putting off 
the, the ways of the world and being uh, uh, and engulfed in the spirit, man. You, you still in Matthew? Okay. Uh, I'm still holding it, yeah. Okay, uh, 6 and uh, 21. 6 and 21. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 21. Well, uh, you can start up 19. Kind of. This yeah. is Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doeth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Right, because it's all, it's all corruptible, man. Everything, these corruptible crowns make it. You see what happens when these uh celebrities get to the top? What does Esau do? He throw, kicks the fucking chair from under them, man. Mm -hmm. All that shit is lost. They end up being broken in jail. Like R. Kelly. Through. Bill Cosby. Through. <laughs> the list goes on. Out of there. <laughs> so, but what? we we See, we fighting for things that you don't see. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that you don't see are greater than the things you do see. Absolutely. You know, we, we understand that right. this is just temporal things, okay? And so like it, man, I say real quick, that was a heavy point you just made. Even on a, on a physical realm, the most important thing that you don't see that you need is what? Air and oxygen. Right. So even on the physical realm, let, let, let the Lord cut off your supply of air and oxygen. That's what you need the most. Everything else will cease to exist. You know, but you got it, brother. I just wanted to say that. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right. We, we see if you take you let somebody steal your crown, it's because you let them. Mm -hmm. It says, let no man take thy crown. So you let somebody take your crown because you don't want it. That's right. All right. But you got to fight for it, though. You still have to fight for that crown mm -hmm. or you have to strive for it, even though that you see you catch a hell. But now at this point in time, you should be like, hey, that crown's right around the corner, man. Yeah. With all these things going on, you should already know what the deal is, man. Mm -hmm. And if you or if you just coming into this thing, man, you better gird your lawns up, man. You strap your boots up because you ain't you ain't got the time that we had. For real. Or the, the time the apostles had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now you better you you gotta quit you gotta be a quick understanding. Yeah. You gotta get you gotta change your ways quick because you don't have too much time, man. You put it put off the old man, repent. Because you don't have too much time left, man. The the the, the, the doors of, of being able to repent. And receive salvation is they're getting very cl closed, man. You're gonna have to skate in at this point in time, yeah. man. And they, even us, we don't know if we're gonna get saved. We have to endure to the end. But we're striving, we're trying, we're making our carnal election sure. We're doing everything we possibly can to lay them treasures up in the heavens, man, so that we can cash in when the shit hits the fan. That's right. See why everybody all try, oh, you gotta invest in Bitcoin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of or, or, you know, that's what people in the world do. Which it ain't nothing wrong with you mm -hmm. want you can invest in whatever you want. I ain't telling you that. You know, you're free to do whatever you please, okay? But I'm just telling you, this Bitcoin ain't going to get you to the time of Jacob's trouble. That's, That's right. a fact. That's right. Okay, because real soon, they're going to cut all this bullshit off and make the RFID microchip mandatory, mm -hmm. okay? It's, and if you don't know that's, that, that, if you don't think it's possible, then you're a fucking idiot because they're mandating things as we speak. That's right. All right? Hey, and the, the brother brought up that word. Can you Google that word, invest? invest. You know, because the brother said, you, you know, investing in, a, you know, crypto and things like that, but you got to invest in this, all right? You, you need to make an investment in the scriptures, make an investment in the Lord, make an investment in your salvation. You know, people don't want to make an investment in their salvation, man. You got, we living in a world where people, salvation is so far from them. That's not even in all, in any of their thoughts, man. You need to make an investment for something that's going to save you, that's going to deliver you. Because uh, the brother said, that ain't going to help you on Jacob's shovel. It says, riches profit not in a day of wrath, man. You know, so, but the, the true riches, all right, the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, and knowing the name of the Lord and getting close to him, that's an investment that's going, it's going to benefit you. That's, you're going to be able to cash that in. You're going to be able to have that pension. You're going to be able to get that retirement fund from, from the Lord, man. He's, you know, he says, have, has he ever forsaken any that follow him? Mm -hmm. You know, so you're going to be able to cash that in if you have faith and believe. Yeah, and this, this knowledge is, is, is like into what? Talents, man. Yep. Money. And you're going to be able to, like I said, you have to be stock investing. That's what people do with stocks, right? Yep. And, and cryptos and all that. Mm -hmm. Hedges or whatever, all that bullshit. That, but what that ain't gonna help you, man. You you're not gonna be able to cash out them investments, man. Right. So here's the etymology of invest, a spiritual man. It says uh, it's a verb, late 14th century. It says to clothe in the official robes of an office. Ooh. <laughs> so what do you need to be putting on, man? Put this word. That's right. <laughs> it says uh, to clothe it, to clothe in cover surround. It says to to dress clothe. You have to dress it with the what? The the, the righteous garments, man. That's right. You gotta put on the the Lord, yeah, because that's what's gonna uh, 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 um, 
what's it called, uh, uh, protect you. The Lord encampeth round about them that fear the Lord. That's right. Okay. Or the angels of the Lord camp round about him that, that fear the Lord, man. So you had to put this work, you had to put it on, man. All right. And then going down, it says, uh, you know, the newer sense of it, it says the meaning use use money to produce profit. Mm. You, you see, you don't you don't just get this wisdom and knowledge just to get it. It's to, so you can profit from you it. Produced. Yep. It says uh, uh, to clothe. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. but like the mm -hmm. brother said, you. you produce you know and that that's what it really is the spiritual growth mm -hmm. that you get from this thing you have to produce man you know you produce more in yourself you produce for the body other men fruit coming around you know you're doing your lessons all of those are a production that the, the lord says occupy till i come all right mm -hmm. you know which occupy really goes into staying busy mm -hmm. all right uh the scripture is what's that luke the 12th chapter that talks about when the good man returned to the house you, you want to be found watching man Okay, matter of fact, let me let me drop that real quick. Uh, I think it's Luke 12 and 47. I think I'm, it's a good starting point. This is Luke chapter 12 and verse. Oh, let me start up a little bit. Luke 12 and chapter, I mean, chapter 12 and verse. Um, yeah, I started 37 real quick. It says, blessed are those servants yet whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And that brother just said you have to put on those clothing, right? Mm -hmm. he, the Lord says he will, he will say he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet. You know, so he being able to feast with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because you were found watching. All right, found occupied, finding the works of Yahweh Shai for occupying in prophecy. All right, it says, and if he come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants, man. You see, so that's the servant that you want to be found. The servant that the Lord is going to say, hey, you know, come my faithful servant, man. You know, my wise and faithful servant, my steward. You know, and that's what we are. We're servants according to Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, but you still wanted me to go back to that Matthew and finish that last verse? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, and then you can take it over. This is uh, Matthew 6 and verse uh, 21. It says, for where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. Right, so what do you see as an investment? All right. What do you, what where what do you see that that's the most val valued investment in your life? Is it bullshitting in this world or is it serving the Lord? Like brother said, with service. It, what does the servant do? He has to do the will of the master. Mm -hmm. All right. Not just do whatever. You you. All right. Like when you work for a company, you know what are you doing? You're you're putting you're occupying. You're working. You're serving so that that company can grow. Yeah. All right. So they invest. They, you know they make more money. Okay. Their output is better making better uh profits mm -hmm. well that's what we got to do for the lord that's right you know and that's where our treasure is because ultimately when the company wins you win as an employee <laughs> right well yeah. hey if the ministry is, is being uh fulfilled then you as a uh, as somebody in the ministry as a servant okay guess what you you gonna you collectively win together mm -hmm. okay that was it on that yeah that was it on that one uh this is uh luke uh 19 and i'm starting at 12 <clears throat> it says he he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds. So like we just said, this is a, the, the script, the, the, this knowledge, the scriptures is liking unto money, right? And we went into investment. It says, and delivered them 10 pounds and said unto them, occupy till I come. Well, I, what, is he, what did he mean by that? Just stand around looking stupid. Just chill. Yeah, just chilling. <laughs> kick, kick your feet. Uh, sipping shade. Uh, sipping lemonade in the shade. No. It says, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he co commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom, whom he had given the money. Right? It's that that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. So what is that? How do you gain by trading? That's an investment. Yep. They call it stock trading, mm -hmm. cryptocurrency yeah, trading, mm -hmm. but that's an investment. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you invest it? You're supposed to get more returns. That's right. If you're investing and you're losing money, you know, then you got an issue. You got some problems, my man. Yep. They call it the ROI, which means return on investment, mm -hmm. right? Because when you make an investment, you're expecting a return. And that's what the Lord is expecting. 
You know, the brother's about to go into it, but that's that's what the Lord is expecting. When you when you when you do this thing, he's expecting something to come back, man. You know, and he said his word shall not go out void. You know, so I mean you can't be sending something out that's unedifying and that's not that's not gonna be profitable for the nation. Right. It need to go out to be edifying, all right, uh exhorting, admonishing, you know, and so then the Lord can the Lord's flock can grow and benefit from it. Mm -hmm. But you got and, the, and, the, and you can't add those servants. Whether well, some of them say, oh, we can't, we don't have, want him to rule over us. Right, right. But that, what did that entail? Oh, well, you don't want to do what you're supposed to be doing. You want to do your own. Well, I think this should be done this way. But that's not how, what the, Lord, the master said to do. Mm -hmm. Well, the master said, uh, master said, uh, we got to paint the walls today. Eh, ain't there tomorrow. <laughs> hey, man, get this nigga out of here, yeah, man. Yeah, get <laughs> um, or what is that? Verse 16, Luke 19, 16, it says, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. Damn, isn't he? And he invested. He was occupied. Yeah. You know? How did he turn one talent into ten? Mm-hmm. It was worth it. Or one pound into ten. By occupying, mm -hmm. putting in that effort. And that's the same thing that's true. Now, everybody has a different measure, of course, yeah. but you have to fulfill your measure. Yes, you have to fulfill your lot. Oh, I don't know what my lot is. Well, damn. Meditate. Pray. What are you good at? <laughs> are you good at anything in this truth? <laughs> Shit. Well, then do, if that's what you're good at, then take that to the next level. That's right. Fulfill your role, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, verse 70, and he said unto him, will thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in very little, have thou authority over 10 cities? And, and the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. So there's a see, right now you, you, it's a menial thing. Right, it's not it's not much to be to what we're look, doing it right now, but the reward is far greater. That's right. You know, but you have to be willing to be occupied and, and invest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty it says, and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin. And the apostles, call, what the apostles call them? the napkin niggas, man. The napkin niggas. You know. Yeah, we keep that safe right here. Oh, hold that safe for the Lord. <laughs> for I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didn't this didn't not sow. And he said, saying unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, mm. thou wicked servant. So you wicked for not multiplying them talents, man. All right, you you you're being wicked for not uh, uh, investing this word, man. Yeah. Investing in this word, and again, and in, in when you invest in this word, there's supposed to be profits. And what are profits, man? You're supposed to be able to see it. The prophets, man, you're supposed to be growing in this truth, okay? You're supposed to be bringing fruit. What happens with a tree that don't bear no fruit, man? The Lord hew it down and throw it in the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 23, and oh, no, 22 again, it says, saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I was an austere man, taken up, that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore, then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at mm -hmm. my coming I might have required mine own with usury. Right, so th that's that's why you got to multiply, man. Jake, know, Jake knows how to, it's called a hustle, yeah. or right, flipping it. That's right. You know you know damn well what <laughs> what's commanded of you. Here it is, you was doing it in the world. You was an right. expert in flipping shit, but you don't know, you can't apply that concept to this truth. Yep, wise to do evil. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, verse 24, and he said unto him, unto them that stood by, take from him the pound and give it to him that had 10 pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he had 10 pounds. For I say unto, unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. Mm -hmm. There you go, man. Hey. So if you don't, if you don't put in that effort, man, this knowledge is going to be taken from you anyway, man. That's right. You're going to be left out there. With no hedge of protection, or right, in the time of Jacob's trouble, because what now is, is, is the wisdom going to be the stability of our time? The Lord going to strip you. Now you bug the hell out amongst the rest of the bug outs. Yep. And you're going to die the death of the bug outs, mm -hmm. man. You know, um, the brother was bringing up some great points. I, want, I wanted to get that one he brought about. He mentioned the tree. This is uh, Matthew 7, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, verse 17, it says, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, man. You see? So 
if you're doing the right things of the Lord, then you're supposed to be a good tree, which is going to bring forth good fruit, man. All right. And that goes into your actions as well as other men, you know, but at the end of the day, there are men out here that are, uh, you know, leading Israel astray, doing wrongfully, doing deceitfully. All right. Those are, are corrupt trees and they're expecting good fruit to come out of that. Right. No, you're going to get evil, wicked and nasty poison fruit, man. All right. If you take a, a damn tree and Esau and uh, put, puts a jab in the, in the tree. All of that fruit gonna be jabbed up, man. Or and then GMOs, people, GMOs, yeah. You know, you know, and then people eat that, and then you take part of that. Now the people are poisoned, man. You know, so that's why this doctrine is so important, right? This doctrine is is good fruit, man. This doctrine is a good understanding for us to eat upon, so that we may grow thereby, man. All right. I have one more um, because you were talking about um, basically at the end of this thing, we're gonna receive rewards and and so and so on. It says, uh, this is Philippians uh, chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Hamashiach. Yeah, I was shy Hamashiach. You see that? So it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. And the, we already are, are winning through the spirit, man. All right. We, knowing, that, knowing who we are, knowing that we're you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, or Hebrew Israelites, knowing that this Bible is too foreign about us, man. All right. How are we going to reign over our enemies? And knowing that we know the name of the Heavenly Father, that's that's a prize, man. That's a prize. How much more the things that the Lord is going to grant to us for pressing toward that mark? You know, the Lord is like, hey, you did all of this work. Well, I'm going to reward you. You know, he's already rewarding us every day now, man. Brothers being able to come together, you know, from like the brother said, different backgrounds of life, being able to come together through the spirit, calling on the name. All right. It says, let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if any, and, and, excuse me, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. So he reveals unto us the things that we need to say, the things that we need to see, the things that we need to correct and change within ourselves. You've got to humble yourself down and take a position and think, am I doing this right according to the spirit? I told brothers, you know, in the world, they always got that uh, WWJD uh, right. bracelet. What will your how I do, man? That, that's always a great way, a great uh, scale, mm -hmm. a measuring stick to see what's beneficial for yourself, for your camp, for the Lord, man. All right? That, that, that's a good measurement. Yeah, would, would you, how would I be in this position? Would he be doing this? Right. That, that's a simple thing to ask yourself before you do anything. Yeah. <laughs> would you, how would I do this? Yep. Yeah. Would the, 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 the disciples, would the apostles do this? <laughs> you know right, what I'm right, right, right. Like, let's make it to, for today because obviously your house is not physically here. He's right. with us spiritually, you know. He's with us. Right now he's with us. Yep, he's right yep. here in the room with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. But you got to ask yourself, when you when you out and about, when you moving in your daily walk, would the apostles be with this? Would right. the, what would they say if they were here right now and they seen this? Yep. You know? And if, you, if your spirit tells you that they would condemn it or they wouldn't be about it, then that's that's your you got your answer. Mm -hmm. You got your answer. And so, you know, we, we've been talking about uh that's the one I was looking for. It, it could be Sarek 32, brother. I couldn't find it. But it says uh do nothing without advice, uh oh, roughly paraphrasing. Did. You know, and so you can even, you know, of course it's always wise to ask a brother, but prayer, all right, is always wise because sometimes you you might not have answered answer a question. You pray about it. The Lord will give it to you in a dream. The Lord might have another brother just randomly talk about it. You might see it in a video. So praying for advice is always wise. But then that what will Yahweh shower, what would the apostles do question? That's a great way to say, all right, if they wouldn't do it, then I don't need to be doing it. And if they would do it, okay, it's through the spirit that it needs to be done. You know, so it's a, it's a great way to measure how you walk and and, and not falling into the lust of the flesh. Yeah, I've got to hear this. Uh, Sirach mm -hmm. 32, I'll start at 18. It says, the man of counsel will be considerate, mm -hmm. but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Right? Because yeah. you don't fear the Lord. You just do whatever. Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it anyway. Because what? Your flesh. Yep. You're trying to please the flesh. Yep. And it's, it's one of them days... The Lord gonna really, he gonna push your damn button, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Cassidy out here trying to tempt the Lord and test the Lord. You know, he, especially you, you people that uh, that came in a, uh, being an Israelite. You know, you you think that you taking this thing for granted, all right? You like, hey, you know, well, if I do it one more time, the Lord might not, you know, he might let me get away with it once again. This ain't no goddamn uh, uh, situation when you was 15 years old right. trying to sneak out against some ass in the middle of the night and trying to steal the car and think you're gonna get back. The Lord see you, man. You know, so it, you ain't getting away from this, man. You know, you got to walk with fear when it comes to this truth, man. You know? Yes. Yeah, and, and for those that, that have heard this word and just ain't doing nothing about it. 
Oh, I don't know what you mean. Like, right. He always rolling the blunts and shit. Yeah, yeah. With his fringes on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know being a nigga. Yeah. You, 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 you the deepest one in your crew. Like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just be always, always got some shit to say. You thinking you, uh, but you don't do nothing for the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. It says, even when of himself he had done without count. I said, so let me read that again. It says, but a strange and a proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he had done without counsel. Mm -hmm. Do nothing without advice, and when thou hast once done, repent not. There That's right. Do nothing without advice, man. All right? Everything that you do, you can, especially uh, the younger you are, you know, the younger you are in the faith, man. The more advice you need to be asking. And, and that's the thing. See, uh, Babylon taught us, uh, uh, you know, not to ask questions. You be in school. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to raise your hand because you feel like you're going to get embarrassed. Somebody going to laugh at you and talk about you. Intelligence is shunned. That The Lord has shown us that this is the opposite of the world, man. You know, so if you got a question, brother, of course, don't just be asking no dumbass questions yeah. because asking dumb questions is a real thing. All right, they avoid taught foolish it, questions. Avoid man. foolish <laughs> questions, you know. So they, they taught you in the world there's no such thing as a dumb, a dumb, uh, dumb question. That shit is false. It's some dumb ass questions, but nonetheless, if it's a sincere question and you really want to know something, pray about it. And I always say this too: research and pray before you ask the question, right? Because if you research, you'll find the answer. If you pray, the Lord might give it to you, and then you can ask advice. If, if you feel like it just wasn't coming. Then you ask, then you ask, man. Then you ask a brother a question like, hey, brother, can you show, can you, can you show me this? Can you instruct me how to walk this way? But even if it's on your spirit to ask first, do so rather than just making a hasty action, man. All right. The, the scriptures talk about not being hasty in speech and not being hasty in spirit. All right. You got to uh, you got to walk with patience and humility when it comes to this, man. I was looking for a scripture and it's not I'm not finding it, but it talks about um, basically about the mouth of a fool. And even it's in Proverbs, basically, if he even a wise, uh, even a foolish man, when he shuts his mouth, he is uh, considered wise. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know what to what to say and what to do, man. I got this one. I'll, I'll bring this one out. This is a uh, uh, Proverbs 21 and 29. I'll start at 28. Actually, it says a false witness shall perish. But the man that heareth speaketh constantly. A wicked man hardeneth his face. But as for the upright, he correcteth his way. You see, so the upright, you're going to correct your way. You're going to change the ways that you were doing before because you're trying to be upright. All right. What's that? Uh, um, uh, Yashawan in the Hebrew. All right. To be upright. It's either judge. It may be judge real. Uh, well, that was that was in the scriptures. Well, probably, uh, you know, oh God. But, uh, or, you know, Yashar. Yashar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Yashar being upright, you know. So being right, Yashawan is probably upright one or something like that. But yeah, you know, so being being upright, the upright man correcteth his way. All right, you correction is love, man. Correction is love. You had all of them niggas in the world that was was cool with you hitting licks. They was cool with you uh, popping other men's women. They was cool with you smoking blunts. You know what I'm saying? Them weren't your fucking friends, man. They don't care about you. They, if your ass, as soon as your ass end up dead, the only love the niggas gonna show you is putting you wearing your goddamn t shirt. Mm -hmm. Take your bitch. You know, take right, <laughs> take your woman and shit. Wanna look what stuff they can get out your house. Hey yo, them J's that he had, can I get them? And take your bitch and, and rock a t shirt and say, Man, I used to love that nigga, man. I might put up a Facebook post for you. Got a shirt with your face on it. Right, you know what I'm saying? They make your goddamn friends, man. They don't care about you, man. Mm -hmm. A friend is known in adversity. That's right. You know, that's when you know when who's really with you, who's down for you, mm -hmm. when you're at the lowest point. Yeah. You know, there's uh, Proverbs 11 and 14 real quick. Just back up what we're saying. It says, where no counsel is, the people fall. Mm -hmm. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Mm -hmm. Because what? The a true count, true counselors. And that's what the brotherhood is about. Because we're we're true counselors. We're not going to lie to you. Like yeah. Apostle was saying yesterday. <laughs> look, we're going we, we to tell you. The, <laughs> not gonna, what, what, what are we going to get from lying to you? You right. know? We're gonna keep it real with each other. And that's what true love is, man. Keeping it keeping it real with each other, man. I wish I kept it real with the disciples. Man, you got on them all the time. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's just what that's just what you but but you have to ask questions. You have to be willing to hear. Okay, you have to be uh